hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm just going to be doing this tattoo design just kind of a black and white liner piece i really love doing these because i feel like i don't know it's just a nice idea just to lay everything out and get it all um sketched through and i feel like with black and white you get them done a lot quicker than if you're doing a full painting like a full color portrait piece because you're not worried so much about different values or colors but the topic that i want to talk about in this video is kind of i guess my new year's resolutions just because i haven't really made a video on that yet and i think it's good right now we're in january and this piece has a lot to do kind of with um what i want to get through this year especially since this is the first piece that i finished in the new year and it relates a lot to some of my goals so one of the things that i really want to do and set forward is just putting my art and just creative endeavors in the forefront because i feel like before i was doing it here and there and i was getting frustrated that it wasn't growing or that i wasn't improving and my social medias with it weren't developing but i had to step back and realize it's because i wasn't putting in the time and effort that i should have so now definitely doing that more and finishing at least a piece a day or every other day because there's definitely a piece that i should have finished yesterday but we're not gonna talk about that but yeah, definitely just buckling down and um, getting some work done. So now whether it's going to be a digital drawing or painting or like a physical graphite sketch drawing, um, maybe a design piece or a sculpture, like I'm reworking on the radis sculpture. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it broke. The one that I was talking about in the last video that I need to finish so that I could get that video up. A shelf fell and broke the ear off. So we're starting that one again. I salvaged the head of it and just broke off the rest of the ears and I have to just do a whole little home maintenance on that situation. But um, yeah, so just working on a new sculpture uh, that's already started doing a graphite piece that I was starting earlier today and just really getting serious about editing these videos and getting them up in a timely manner posting more on my social medias and just i want to grow my art as much as i can and so i put down all my goals on my little mood board let me know if you guys want to see a video on that i kind of did it like the amber show style so just laying everything out exactly how i want it this year and a couple more that are more like abstract ideas so just to put that intention out there and my mantra for this year is going to be growth and comfort do not coexist. And that's by Ginny Rometty. Rometty. I'm not sure how to say that. But I believe that that's so true. That you can't stay within your confines or stay in your comfort zone. And expect to grow or expect to experience anything new. And that's something that I'm really taking into this year. Because before... Um, I think it's easy to just make excuses for yourself and just to say, oh, well, I didn't do this or these things didn't happen because of X, Y, and Z. But if you step back and look at it, those excuses are just a way for you to stay in your own bubble or stay in an environment that you're comfortable with. And I do that quite a bit. And I just want to see a change. So this year, that's what's going to be happening. And another thing is just a car because I don't have a car. I have my license, but no car. So I really want to get a car this year. And I think that's going to help a lot with the traveling because traveling is another piece on there. But just getting back and forth, being established and being independent is going to be another thing this year. Just being established, being independent. Um being able to get around because out here in florida it's different than when we lived in new york because then you could be independent and do your own thing without having like a car there's so much public transportation but in florida public transportation isn't always there so it's like you really have to have a car or a way to get around because lifts and ubers start getting expensive and 
we're not getting money like that so oh here in the video if you saw it i was like playing around with different masks and stuff because i wanted to see how it was gonna lay out but um let me start talking about the drawing actually just to pipe in for a second so yeah so just this like um demon slaying like oni girl just a japanese style kunochi i'm probably saying that wrong too kunoichi i'll put it up on the screen or something but um just a warrior girl oh, but i thought it'd be nice if she had kind of like a little dark thing going for her because when i got the commission for the tattoo um he said that he wanted different like he wanted a warrior sense and he wanted the oni so i thought it'd be cool if what if this warrior turned out to be the oni like what if she um took over or kind of was possessed by that spirit so yeah that's what this one is about and i think i'm gonna do more anime style pieces because i really love them and i love the line art and i feel like the line art tells a lot of a story about these kind of pieces but yeah so being independent i think a lot of it stems from being able to get around on your own being able to pay for your own things and just do what you need to do to take care of yourself but then there's also the aspect of creative independence where you're not just working um to fund your life in a sense that all your pay or everything goes to your survival. I know a lot of the times, especially if um, you're living in poverty or things just aren't the same, then you're not gonna have time for the luxuries. You're not gonna have the money to go there because a dollar or two could really make a difference. And we grew up like that. But right now I feel like I'm in a spot where I can delve into um, my creative side in a way that I won't be able to maybe in a few years I will but that I won't be able to maybe a year down the line because to be creatively independent you also have that, have to have that financial backing and that's something that's I don't feel like it's talked about enough because yes yeah, some people will say that they um they have to work their job and then they'll grind on the side but when you're starting out and trying to make art or music or writing just something creative as or your passion as your main um thing like as your main career your main job and get paid from that you still have to have something to fund it along the way and I was recently talking with one of my friends. We were talking about how sometimes I feel like creatives get burnt out because of the fact that you're working so much to afford to be creatively independent and to afford um, just the products or the systems that you need to go in and create your pieces. But that takes time it takes your energy and sometimes it really just clouds up your spirit and your mind space and not to get like all weird about it wow my voice is going i am so sorry <laughs> welcome to the rasp hour i promise i'm like drinking tea and water on the side trying to calm it and nothing's working but um yeah a lot of the times you just end up draining yourself either emotionally or mentally um trying to fund these and it can it can really put you in a situation when you start thinking what's the point of this or what's leading up to it and i hit that point but i had to remind myself that this is something that i want to do this is something that i need to first build a foundation on and get established and i think that's the most important part is building your foundation that you'll be able to stand upon because once you do make that leap or that jump to leave the job or career that is funding you and make your passion your career or your main source of income, um, 
you're going to want to be able to build that house on something sturdy. So you're going to want to have your fundamentals down. You're going to want to have your following, which is really big now. You're going to want um, your skills to match up with your quality of work. You know, you're going to want these things before you actually make it your main and a lot of this year is just going to be focusing on that just putting myself out there more um because i have been building these foundations and i feel like i'm in a good spot where i'm not exactly where i want to be i'm not perfect and i know that there's a lot of improvement and i'm still learning but also i'm not terrible and i can be aware of that that i've built up my foundation my skills enough to have um in like certain areas i would say in sculpting i'm still definitely learning some but i've learned quite a bit to be all right in drawing and sketching i've learned enough that i feel like i'm comfortable with it and i'm good with digital i feel like i'm getting to a point now where I can start being comfortable with it. So it's really just about getting to a space where your skills and the quality of work that you're producing are something that you could stand on and something that you could put out into the world and feel good about. And I know sometimes with creatives, it's like, no, it's not perfect. It's never gonna be good enough. It'll never be good enough, but if you get it to a point where you feel comfortable enough to put it out there, yeah, that's a big thing and do that. All right, so that about wraps it up. Let me know if you guys wanna hear more on this topic. I have a lot more to say and um, I'll just see you guys in the next video. Comment below what you wanna see more of or what you think about the piece. I really love it and enjoyed it. And like the video if you wanna see more. See you guys later. Bye.